Welcome everyone to the Bear vs. Man MLG Invitational 2015. Uh, on the main stage, to an electrified crowd, we have Ryan here playing Downwell. And he is, I have to say, he is going for the gold tonight. I, my name is Nick, I'm the uh, the head commentator here. I have my sub-commentators as well, to my left. Yes, my name is Tony. His name is Tony. Uh, there's also these other guys over here. You heard it here first, folks. Joe here, and we're seeing a really swell game right ah! now. Uh, oh. interesting, interesting move. He, he died. He, he went, he, you know what? Uh, well, years later, they will look back at this event. They'll look really back did. at the Bear vs. Man Invitational 2015, and they will say, he went for it. And they will say, he died. So a really unconventional thing. Uh, uh, Ryan died, and now, uh, Nick, one of the judges, is going to, uh, take over. Uh, I'm gonna show you how this shit gets done. Uh, cause oh, apparently, uh, we aren't doing that good. Uh, here, um, so no. I mean, everyone else had their turn for the time. Which is, all the participants had their turn, so now it's the announcer's turn. That's, that's just true. that's just the rules. Those are MLG rules. If you don't know that, then you're a scrub. I hate to be the one to have to tell you this, but that's just how it is. Guys, we're in the middle of a huge live stream. How many hours in are we, Joe? Joe, the Joe, timekeeper, official Joe. timekeeper, official. Joe, you have the watch. Official, Six hours. official that guy. <laughs> Uh, you're, Joe, you're officially, officially that guy officially, who officially. is that guy who that, I, no, no, like when you're playing Call of Duty at 4 o'clock in the morning, you're the one who goes, guys, it's 4 a.m. That's you mm -hmm. today, officially. I do that already. I know. So we're six hours into a 24-hour live stream. Um, it's a marathon of video games, nonstop, semi-nonstop video games, <laughs> to benefit, uh, it's an extra life. Jam, oh fuck! And uh, we're benef we're trying to raise some money for Boston Children's Hospital. Do something good. Yeah, man. For their shitty existences. Yeah, for real. For the children. And um, that's that's what we're doing. We're um, playing video games. But I thought we'd have something coherent to say. We're gonna record a little podcast, talk about the games we played. And some of that that mumbo jumbo fun stuff. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm playing down well. I thought Ryan's term was gonna last a little bit longer. I'm not a rusty. Gonna lie, because uh, he's or like, the or the fact that he might pick up where you leave off. I was kind of hoping he'd last through the intro, but oh, this is the Bear vs. Mancast. This is the Bear vs. Mancast. This is episode thirty-seven. It is, and it's November seventh. Yes. We have returning live stream guest um, Tony, aka Yuki, aka Tony. Um, Semi special live guest Joe, and, special and then super special guest. Very special. Very allow him special. to introduce himself because I don't want to steal I his am fucking thunder. The swag boy. He's the swag boy. The, the, the V swag no, boy. No, 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 no. That was the kid you played online that time. <laughs> yeah, that was the kid I played online. No, that that mm -hmm. was that I'm was. I'm Ryan. Him. I'm a different Ryan. Uh oh, different. Ryan. Guys, oh, I didn't I didn't anticipate Ryan. this. Uh, big Ryan, we're gonna have to call you Stan for the duration of this podcast. Well, shit. Because you respond <laughs> right. to that anyways. Right, I'm, leaving, I'm leaving in a few minutes, but that should continue for the rest of the. Yeah, episode. well, yeah, no, we. He's he, coming in. He does that anyways. Yeah, I mean, he goes by Stan. He responds to that if you just call him. Oh, good. Oh, he good. Turns around and he um, I can't. Oh. I can't. I don't have any monies. Guys, uh, it doesn't have any money. So it's actually it. good because it, the stuff costs more later in the game. I don't know if you noticed that. Is that true? Ooh, triple. Do you get triple lasers? Oh. No. Dude, that'd be sick. <laughs> uh, I would look at, like, what's going on this week. I, we have uh, kind of a loose lesson plan for the podcast we today. Oh, yeah, well, I like, put it in, in it the dock, but I can't look at it because I'm playing down well, well like really well. So here's how this here's how the normal setup goes. We talk about sandwiches that we've eaten this week. That's true. Yep. Um, here, special guest Ryan. Uh, Do you eat any sandwiches this week? I ate um, actually the same sandwich every day this week. That's, every day. Yeah. Oh, that's unsettling. Was it, was it, yeah, it was weird. <laughs> it wasn't very good. So why'd you eat it every day? Because it's easy to make, and I had to make it in the morning when I'm ah. not very awake. You're like, because, uh, you know it's what? Um, when you're hungry, you'll be surprised what you'll eat. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So what was it? Test, so it's, uh, just, you know, it's got bread. It's got, uh, 
What kind of bread? Good start. Good start. Yeah. Bread in your <laughs> sandwich. Bread is the, it's got to be like the foundation of pretty much every sandwich. Mm-hmm. Except for the double down, of course, but there's an exception. Every no, time. I guess that's a sandwich. Um, but, yeah, whole, whole grain. Okay. Right? Which and kind of grains are you talking about? Uh, whatever kind. Uh, the whole ones. The whatever whole ones. kind I had. <laughs> okay. Um, and then oh, uh, machine some very gun. tasty ham. The ham was tasty. Nice. Um, and then Munster. That's Ooh, it. Ooh, Munster so is choice. solid cheese choice. Uh, no, we go in like a. I feel like that's a kind of sandwich that deserves to have a mustard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like maybe not a yellow mustard. Morning, maybe. I'm not thinking about the mustard. I'm thinking about. I'm gonna be late. Like, go. go I'm gonna go be. Get, go. Go. I could use a little bit of a spicy mustard. Wait, is there one between two? A Dijon. A Dijon, yeah. What's the matter? So I got, I got twelve hundred seventy-eight gems. I'm just. Saying. Is that where we keep a track of? I think that might be the way to do it. All right. Well, I, I think we should keep track of time. No, because Joe could just sit on the first block and be like, I won! I won, you guys! I lasted for 20 minutes before someone took the controller from me. Well, well, you know, well, well, how about depth? Not depth. Oh, yeah, depth, depth. Actually. Where's depth? Level. Alright, so, so I got to 1-3. Yeah, so one, how about 1-3 and then gems like a tiebreaker? Sure. Here. Because uh. you gotta you gotta get the gems. It's about the gems. Okay. So okay, so this... Okay, yeah, I guess. like First oh, thing in the morning... Mustard's the last thing on anybody's mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm not thinking about like, hey. But then, like, you go to eat that sandwich, and you're like, "Fuck, should have put yeah, mustard." Exactly. On it. Shit. Exactly. I feel you. You should I, just keep some mustard in like your back pocket. Oh my god. Yeah. There's some mustard right. packets. Some have yeah. mustard. There's even a fridge where I work. Dude, I, I, I'll, I'll bet you like a million dollars. There's already a bottle of mustard in there. No. Nah. Oh really? No. Nah, he used nobody it all. There, nobody there likes mustard. He drained that bitch. I, I also work with all all women. I don't know if that's a correlation or what. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, there's a you could get them gems. Sex, sex, and oh, sure. uh, like of mustard. Not necessarily. So? No. I think if you like mustard, you get lots of sex. Mm. Oh, fair. Okay. Uh, that might. Also, be- if you don't, like it, kind of just. Either or, either, like both, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, both yeah. of like, like both of those scenarios. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, it's a calzone sandwich. It's a philosophical question. Also, a Yuki. square rectangle type of situation. I think. How about uh, even John? I don't know if a calzone. Oh, yeah. is you have to be on the ground. I don't know if a calzone is a sandwich because it is fully C- enclosed. Calzone is a sandwich, but a sandwich is not a calzone. Hey, I think a yeah, bot yeah. just retweeted my tweet. Is that okay? What kind of bot? Um, I don't know. Let me look at it. I went to one too. <laughs> Alvaro Campos. Oh, that down. Red local. I can't. Do that. At red local yeah. on Twitter. <coughs> it just says keep learning. Is his background? Sounds like a bot to me. Only robots who want to learn. Yeah. Um. Okay. Video keep games. Keep learning so you can program me so I can <laughs> <laughs> take over. So I can retweet different bullshit. I don't know, dog. You were looking for a retweet. You were fishing for retweets. I'm so. always fishing for retweets when I'm trying to promote myself. Dude, I, I, like, did the Facebook promotion of my band page, and, like, a bunch of people that I'm, like, nobody's friends with that are clearly bots liked our page, and, like... And you're like, hey, Mark... It does, and I just stopped doing it, because that's, like... You're like, Mark Zuckerberg, I didn't give you $15 to get a bunch of bots to yeah, like my shit. Exactly. Like, just actually show it to the people that I'm friends with. Hey, guys, uh, j- this just in, uh, Twitch chat... Upgrade triple D calzones are bullshit. Discuss. Whoa, <laughs> calzone! I just had two delicious different kinds of calzones. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know like who we you, got a blood feud on our hands. I don't know who you are. Upgrade triple D, but fucking calzones are delicious. Just letting you know, we have some broken glass here that we are not afraid to use. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Eight. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> like, unless he's saying that calzones are not sandwiches, which I'm fine with conceding, but like, they're also oh. they're still delicious. They have bread and meats and cheese. Like, calzones almost count as a sandwich. What if I like? Almost, yeah. What if I cut a calzone? Okay, so what, what okay, about this? Okay, upgrade triple D. Calzones are just inside out pizza, uh, comma scrubs. They can be that too. I mean, what I if I took a piece of calzone, yeah. right? And then I, I just took a piece of calzone. You didn't know it was from a calzone. Okay. I took a piece of calzone. Oh, I served it to you. Oh, yeah. I put like panini grill marks on it. I served it to you and I cut it like on the bias. You'd be like, this looks like a dope sandwich. I'm doing it. A- okay, I want my eyes to hurt. <laughs> okay, so I'm. Uh, this is going to be my last round. I am the swag boy. <laughs> I am the swag boy. Um, I do have a question though. That would be a sandwich, or and then you'd be like, no, because enclosed, I would just cut the sides to so be two distinct pieces no. of dough. 
Upgrade the, Triple uh, D, you uh, wouldn't uh, dare. And then Orpheus with at least two underscores says, never had a calzone. Never had a calzone? <laughs> oh, Orpheus, Orpheus with, with two Ds. No, two <laughs> underscores. At least. All right, Swag Boy. Okay, we're going to stop talking about Sanchez for a second. Swag Boy, I want you to take a moment to tell us about a, a video game that you played this week. And you don't have to have liked it, but you have to tell us about it. Uh, can it be Rocket League? Because that's a game that I play every day of my life. Yes! Oh, please tell us about Rocket League oh my and God, why... so much. Please tell us about Rocket League and why you think it is a game. Why it's a game? Yeah, why it is a game. Because it, because it is not a sandwich. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me why you think Rocket League is a calzone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really interesting theory that you have. Because it is. Uh, what, what do you find enjoyable about Rocket League? For, think, like for I real. just think that it's like it's like a Dude, sport that, that I can play. What? I like youth a lot. I think it's a good upgrade. Oh. I like uh, yeah, youth's pretty good. Yeah, but look at that too. Does that just mean you explode every time you jump? Yeah, yeah but yeah. towards the end of the game, how much are you gonna jump really? A jump. lot. Oh, I'm jumping. No, but you're not going to really hit the ground and jump. The whole point is to not hit the ground. Yeah, but I'm jumping all day, you know? Well, right now, yeah. I'm just saying. Devil's advocate. Oh, no. no. So you you like Rocket League because it's accessible? Um, Not even just that. I think it's like... It's a wonderfully balanced game that also offers like a lot of different playing styles and choices. And choices. I and think choices. yeah, Rocket League, is, Rocket League, is, and and gaming. Um, I think it, it, it's been discovered. Oh fuck me in that! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bats, dog. Dude, bats are the worst. It's been discovered that uh, the the cars actually do have different stats. Um, really? Yeah, like besides oh. the hitboxes, all that stuff. I don't. Mm. Like uh, so some sort of shadowy cabal decided this because yes. I don't know if I believe this it garbage. Was proven by the Illuminati. Oh. Uh, did you hear about the update? Thanks, too, Obama. Impact them because they're gonna have an ice rink you can play on, and ice you can change the gravity of the ball. Ice rink, and like the they're the like they're adding like strength. hockey mode or something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like they're gonna turn it into a puck that doesn't really like leave the ground. That's like, awesome. You can uh, affect the gravity. One, please. That sounds that's, way better. That's the kind of shit yeah. you add to a game that makes you go back and play your game. Yeah. That sounds no, way like, better. I feel like they were like trying to establish it as like a legit like game first before people just started like. Well, it yeah, because like, the content of Rocket League uh, is great. Apparently, oh, they already tried to release Rocket League once under a different name, and then they called it Rocket League. Isn't, got it on wasn't PSN. Like powered blast cars yeah. or some shit. Something like that, and so they got it like so they got it on PS like PS Plus free whatever gold or okay, what you don't know what I'm talking about. Free games. No, I'm talking about. Yeah, and then didn't sell very well. No, but that's what they did. They got Rocket League out there. People heard about it, and now it's like a. They tightened up the, yeah. tightened up the graphics. And now everybody's oh, here. Oh, they want. oh, this game that everybody likes, it's getting so much better, and then they're gonna play it. Yeah, and they're like, oh, I never heard of rocket car, whatever, <laughs> blast cars. You bash. know what? A serious issue though that I have actually, this is like, I gotta leave okay. kind of soon, no, but fine. like, I gotta, I got an issue now. Okay, to talk about. all right, all right, hit it, hit us with it. Um, what garage are you? When we were first playing, like I was there from the start, man. I was there from the foundations. July something when it came out. Yeah, you started from the bottom. Now you're here. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, okay. Now you're here. Now you're at the top. Um, and uh, so at first, everybody was always like, "There are these quick chat things that are actually pretty funny because no matter how yep. you say them, sincerely, like they're always sarcastic." I like the of. I like the curse one. Yep. Yeah. yeah, nice, yeah. Oh, shit. nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah. I, I like, <laughs> yeah nice shot. Little, miss, nice shot. Nice shot. Um, but yeah, at first, everybody was like using those like. You know, the other team makes, like, a ridiculously good shot. You're like, nice shot, nice shot, nice shot, wow, 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 wow. And, like, you're, like, seriously, like, pumped for that because it's an awesome shot. But now, like, you know what I mean? Like, you miss a save by barely anything, and the other team's like, what a save, what a save, what a save. Like, as it's become, like, bigger, it's become Dude, more competitive, we... which makes people off. Yeah, that's true. And there are people typing in, like, you know, just the worst, the worst are you, shit. Are you playing on PC? No. Uh, uh, PS4? Typing, that's why. Yeah. You can still type on PS4. Yeah, it's just hard. Uh, yeah, we were doing that right. too. Oh, like when Ryan and I played, we were all about those. Oh things. yeah, like early on, like yeah. release <clears throat> week, we played like a couple rounds, and we were just like, "Dude, that was the best!" Like, 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 like I, if we get scored, I'd be like, "Shit, shit, shit!" I did, shit. <laughs> it's like towards the goal, you're like, "No, no, no, shit, shit, wow, no!" <laughs> but I, like, I will remember probably forever that to say "nice shot" is left up. Yep, left up. This right. what a save is left down. <laughs> yep. I always I tried so hard to try and tell Ryan like, uh, 
oh good off to a good start here like just pass it or like nice or like like shoot shoot i like try to pass it to him and then like yell shoot and it just it it, it doesn't like it doesn't get the message into across in time like yeah. it doesn't do it once you get used to him though like I, I can be like you know going around the side and that's just because i spent like an awful amount of time playing this it's really cutting into my my video game time so Man, all these video games yeah, yeah oh i got so many video games i have no time to play video games i have all the stuff yeah Oh really? Yeah, I'm you trying play to this year. Uh, upgrade know? triple D. What, le- uh, what league are you Update in right silver he two. Left. But oh I, man, I've been on a losing streak. Stop talking about Kel Zones. Silver three, like near the uh, top. Also, also league. update. Yeah. I told then Orpheus with two league underscores. League I went to all the way down to silver one. How do you get ranked in it? Is it a after X amount of played? No, it's um. Or do you? Does everyone start in bronze league? Everyone starts in bronze, and then it's win loss. That's actually a good way to do it. Because yeah. almost every other video game ever that ranks you yeah, is Ferton. play X number of matches to yeah. get ranked yeah, first. Yeah, you have like a separate level that's that. Yeah. So, But that doesn't actually affect who you play. I hit twice. Yeah, I'm, I'm off my, my demo game, too. Right. I gotta, so. I gotta hit, that, hit that trail, though. I'm gonna see how running is with one beer. You gonna hit that nene? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luck? good luck, oh, with, good luck yes. with that. Where are you well, running to? Okay. He'll be okay. It won't hurt. Where you, where are you trying to run right now, dog? Back home. Where are you running from? Oh, let's. <laughs> how far is that? Like a mile and a half? I don't know. It feels like far though. You it's should hilly. Wait, but yeah. You download map up. my run. Yeah, because you cut up the hill, right? Yeah. Might be like mile or two. Uh, <gasps> no, I missed the thing. I can never go back. Um. Might be just like mile. I said, in the middle of streaming video games. Well, have a a fun and safe mile and a half run. Maybe. Who knows. Yeah, but thank you. Either way, get it done. Get yeah, it done. It was good to, it was good to be uh, here. Oh, my it's gosh. It's a short day in MLG history. That's yeah, true. it is. But and uh, we're raising money for kids. We're saving kids. Yeah, exactly. Saving and kids. Kid history. Saving kid kids. History. Um, but the swag boy out. All right, man. Cool. You can be Ryan right, again if you want. I am. Uh-huh. I forgot to call him Stan anyways. Fucking piece of garbage. Who wants to go next? Later, bro. Yo, Tony, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run by. Do it. Do it now. Do you want to talk? You want to tell us about? Wait, did you have a sandwich too? No, I did. Well, I had a grilled cheese sandwich. Good luck on your show. That doesn't count. Um, it was with cheese and bread. No, but what's the what's the bread? Um, I- ciabatta bread. No, it's not like Isaiah bread or something. What? Do you- no, it's not. Iggy Isaiah Isaiah bread. I- it was Iggy bread. Iggy's bread. Uh, I don't know. What is that? Um. I don't know who makes it. Uh, I was at the Boston Public Market and I got a grilled cheese and it was a... I still don't know what that is. It was a cheese that was... had a... I think like a walnutty but also like a hint of pineapple in it. Um, what? Do I think you you just did acid and like walked around the park. (laughs) No, no. It's a real thing. They sell it. Um, I don't know, dog. I swear, I'm not. Now they describe it on like the food truck board. It's, it's not like a food truck. It's at the Boston Public Market. Whatever in a food truck. Okay, so tell us about a video game instead. Are you gonna be like, I played a game that like it had mechanics, uh, no, and wait, there was like an objective. Sandwich. You ate a sandwich too. What? What sandwich did you eat? So okay, so I sous vide a turkey breast again because I want sous vide it because I wanted to perfect it. Guys, right? Perfect. Yes. And then, so I, I made a turkey sandwich, but I also have been making breads. Okay. Uh, okay. You're, so You're making your own breads? Yeah. Uh, the first one wasn't that good. <laughs> what kind of bread was it? Uh, it was just like white sandwich bread. But like the outside was, like, I think you I, I, think I too? overmixed yeah, it. Yeah, well, I just didn't have a, well, I basically had leftover curry and I didn't have naan, so I just put in uh, bread and then just eat it. It was that's, good. That's a sandwich. It, it's a, it's, it was just curry sandwich. It was, it was good. So, how was your sous vide? Uh, it was good. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do on Thanksgiving is sous vide uh, our turkey breasts. Uh, for this is this is the best way to do it. Sous vide turkey. Um... No. But yeah, I put like avocados on it and some a little bit of red turkey wine vinegar. Turkey and avocado, man. Yeah, and so we do it. But a little bit of a little bit of mayo because it makes me happy. I toasted my bread. You toasted bread. You didn't grill the bread. No, I didn't grill it. I just toasted it. Okay, that's cool. Um, 
I don't think I really ate a sand- I had some hot I had a hot dog or two yesterday. The sideways is, sandwich. Is hot dog a yeah, sandwich? It, would hot dog no, hot dog's sandwich. not. Are if you, you sure? hold it if you okay, what if I hold it this way? Uh yeah. Yeah, that's probably sandwich. And like no, because the bun's enclosed, I'll just slice the bun all the way through. <laughs> the and then it's the Yeah, just same thing yeah. with the calzone. Hot dog's a sandwich. Uh Orpheus with two underscores update. I'm trying to get this dude to order a calzone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. And he's like, I don't know where to get a calzone. And I'm like, you must have a, like, pizza your place. townhouse like, of Domino's, pizza. Domino's does it, even does it, too. Dude, is right? Domino's just stuffed cheesy bread? Is that the same? It's Which, I don't even... That's definitely not a sandwich, right? That's definitely not a sandwich. What are this Nor me- is it a calzone? I th- it, they what use pizza delicious. dough to make it, though. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's a... It doesn't mean they have it's sandwiches? It's a calzone. They the, do have does sandwiches. Does he have Papaginos nearby? Papaginos? They don't, they don't have calzones, dog. I they do. They don't? Nah. Really? Why not? I don't know. I think they... Why don't they just make a pizza and fold it over? They could I, make I, one. When I used yeah, to I work like, there many punch years punch ago at this point... Oh, I'm doing bad. Uh, oh, when right. I used to work there, they, I, I would often like make one of those for me just to eat. Yeah, you're just like, and then, I'm going to make then, a pizza, and you went, oops, I folded it over, yeah. and now I put it in the <laughs> oven. And then I twisted it. And then, a, and then a calzone came out. It was the weirdest thing. Yeah, and then, like, people would be like, oh, man, you have calzones here? And I'm like, no. And then I just, like, put it in a box and I went home. <laughs> <laughs> and then you ate it in Is it, of okay, him. okay, is a stromboli a sandwich? I, isn't a stromboli just, like, a skinnier calzone? It's a calzone with sauce. Or, do calzones have sauce? Not, no. No. Just, One of them has sauce. I think that's a stromboli, then. Stromboli has sauce. I'm a, I'm, I'm touching a laptop. Boulder style. Oh, that's my favorite style. I'm gonna cheat now. I get six HP. Oh, wow. Can you dig it? Uh, I don't think I really. Okay, I had a hot. I had hot dogs. Those are my sandwiches. And I still. Yeah, of course. What? Oh. Okay. So ready? Okay. Here we go. This is really good podcasting. Um, a stromboli is like you took a pizza and then you like you put all the stuff like and then before you bake it in the oven you roll Fuck. it up like a jelly roll. Uh, this is the distinction. Oh, are garlic knots a sandwich? I don't know. I just, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. You want on Wikipedia what a sandwich is? Webster's definition of a sandwich. Man, this this podcast is seriously a, like a about sandwiches now. <laughs> is that what was that? Well, like you don't even know the past couple the of sandwich. the past couple of episodes we just like been talking about sandwiches and now it's oh, like you guys been talking about sandwiches all the time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Welcome to the sandwich cast. The sandwich. Yo, what do you want me to Google? Oh, uh, what a sandwich. Webster's definition of what a sandwich. <laughs> Not Webster's dictionary. Just find some guy named Webster and be like, Doug, what's a sandwich? <laughs> be like, what me. a sandwich is. Excuse me, do you have time for an interview? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. Uh, what's a sandwich? What a sandwich is. Like, um. So, actually, um, there was a game that I did play this week. Oh, oh shit. Looking that up. No Halo way. Five. Guardians? Oh, oh that's a game, game I played. Halo 5's a game I played. Halo 5. Mm. And it feels like a Halo game. And it's becoming lackluster at this point. In what, in what regard? I don't like it. It's just... Well, so campaign... I, I didn't play the campaign, but I... Uh, my oh, dad, okay. My, so my dad, this is an informed opinion, then. My, no, my dad... My father played the campaign, and I watched him. My father... Um, because local multiplayer, uh, doesn't exist for campaign. Why would it? Couches are dead, Joe. Right. Yeah, this never happens. No. No. No, No, it doesn't always. People never play video games on the same, on TV. Uh, I'm booped. Uh, But the thing, uh, the the biggest uh, problem is it's like, hey, you're an American, you're a human. You're an American. (laughs) You're an American. (laughs) No, but you're a human. Here. Have start with a human weapon. Oh, by the way, every weapon in this uh, in this next level is alien or Promethean, and the you will H never is... get to use that this gun again. The H is Promethean. Um, guys, can I give you like a sandwich update? Yes, <laughs> always. There's there there. Okay, so in my in my efforts to find what is a sandwich, uh, there's this article from the Atlantic, which I guess is a magazine or a newspaper you or something. Both charges, dude. Um, so this, there's like a New York State's tax code 
that defines what sandwiches are. <laughs> Holy shit, that's serious. Uh, um, so they they list off like some named sandwiches like BLTs and clubs and grilled cheeses, and then and then it goes down to get kind of weird. Um, yes. It's like it's like okay, cheesesteak, got it. Croissant sandwiches, okay. Croissant witches. Breakfast sandwiches. I'm like okay, and then it's like gyros. Gyros. Those are sandwiches. Yep. Uh, Gy- bagels. Gyros, hoagies, torpedoes, all sandwiches. Okay. <laughs> Hot dogs on so- and sausages on buns. Okay. Got to be on buns. Okay. Just- Open face sandwiches are I guess sandwiches, even though they're not wraps. Caesar uh, salad wraps, wraps and, and things like count. Okay. Also on the list, burritos. A burrito is burrito is not a sandwich. <laughs> it's a Mexican sandwich. No, you don't understand. I will not. I will never back her down. Like the, a burrito is not a sandwich. Orpheus triple up, underscore update. Nah, man, I'm researching it and I can't find anything. And I'm like, I, <laughs> where do you live? Let me find it for you. No, that's not something. Don't don't reveal where that to us. Where does he live? <laughs> does he is does he live in the U.S.? So here's my question. The for sound me. has stopped. Yeah, yeah, the well, sound stopped. Stopped. I played so hard, the sound stopped. Uh, what do you do, Nick? I just, I'm just so good. I'm gem see, high let, let AF. Papa Gino's with Domino's house. I do, <laughs> I do have a question for him. I don't him. think they do. Has he searched lo- like on Google calzones and then done yeah, like maps? Like go on Yelp and, and then like... maps it to yourself. Yeah. Any pizza place besides chain pizza places will have calzones. I mean, Domino's is not Domino's Pizza anymore, so they probably have... That was weird. They they don't. They do cheesy bread. My, they do pasta in a pan. My dad might have fucked my shit. They do sandwiches. Oh, like, he's hitting a button upstairs. Like, 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 because he could mute my soundbar right now. Rude. Oh, oh he must have done that accidentally, then. Oh, one three cleared. I set a new standard for us to all live by. Um, all right, so Halo 5 Guardians. Two burritos are nuts. Is it's a ta- in the U.S. Is a taco a sandwich too? Uh, it didn't say. A soft taco. If if so a like a pita is a sandwich, but I guess a taco doesn't count. If a pita is a sandwich, a soft taco is definitely also a sandwich. You have to remember this is New York standards. Legal standards. Like this is like in their tax code. Yeah. Because I bet you they have different different like, things for like sandwich shops. Like they may charge different taxes depending on the earning potential of like a sandwich shop versus like a fine dining restaurant, and so they may have to define. I got the curry. I got the curry. Did you? That's yeah. a lot of gems, dog. Oh, that's spikes. Yeah. Um. All right, so Halo Five Guardians. You didn't play it, I, but no, it's bad. I played the multiplayer. I didn't play campaign. So, and your dad says he doesn't like that he doesn't get to keep his battle rifle? He just, he's like, what's this fucking Needler no, bullshit? So, pro- so one of the big problems is, and he played on normal, he was running out of ammo like crazy. And, like, constantly oh. having to ditch weapons to pick up other ones that are crap as well. Um, also, when they put you in, a, in, like, a machine that you had to drive around or something, uh, when you hit the checkpoints and then died and you respawn as your failing mech, you either have to just abandon that, how they want you to play the game in general, or you have to, like, go back to the beginning, so you get a new one. Hmm. That <clears throat> seems like it might be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Multiplayer-wise, it just feels like Halo. I, I, I actually didn't play the multiplayer, because I was really dissatisfied with the gunplay in that game. Yeah. Um, so I just, I played probably maybe six missions, maybe seven of the campaign, and then I'm like, I, I kind of, like 16 chapters. I kind of think that I don't oh like this God. game at all, so I'm not gonna play it. I, tell me, tell the, everyone what you told me. Oh. <laughs> your shame. Tell, tell the My audience shame? about your shame. The, so, one, one time I sent a text message to Nick after I played some Halo 5, and I'm like, I told him, hey, the gunplay's really bad in this game. He's like, yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm like, yeah, it makes me miss Destiny. I oh. I set you up for that though. <laughs> yeah, you did. In fairness, you so I was did. like, it's like, yeah, sometimes well, gunplay can make or break the game. Yeah, you, yeah. And it's like sometimes when gunplay is bad, it's just a bad game, and sometimes when it's good, it's just a good game. Um. Also, they, now it's a question. Took, they took the the Titan and Destiny, and they're like, yeah, that's how you're playing uh, Halo Five now. 
No, not even though. Because so I Bungie's just... preparing a class action lawsuit against three four three. So if you're sprinting and you um... run and tell that can't Tony. Mm, Hold on. Can't have her. Well, Ume ke- okay. Kabocha. Nick. Ke- Nick. Yeah. If you 2600, sprint and melee, you I quickly though. go into third style. person and do a shoulder charge. Dope. If you jump in the mm. air and hold melee, you float in the air and can aim a melee attack, which is um, t- one of Titan's... So uh, I just think that those are cool things, though. Perfect. Like, you don't necessarily have to... Like, I don't have to be mad because they, like, totally stole from... Uh, well, it's a total rip of Destiny, it's bro. Not, I, it's a rip of the Titan, though. Yeah, but it's if it's cool, then do it. Like, Android's had Notification Center first. Or whatever, you know, that's what Apple calls it. But they had that whole yeah, thing first. Um, it's like the thing where you see, like, what notifications you've received, like, um, aggregated, and, like... It's like, and it's like, oh, I totally ripped it off. It's like, so Apple shouldn't no, add features that are cool? Because the they're Destiny, ripping people... Destiny makes it work because you have, you have a variety. You have three different kinds of things that way they react. Oh, yeah. This is just all Titans all the time. Everyone's shoulder charging each other and things like that. Um, multiplayer, you get ranked oh in multiplayer you get the shoulder charge. Yeah, that's Everyone interesting. Does. That's weird. Um, it's like it's just like a knife lunge. Man, I want to play Call of Duty. <laughs> um, no, because it doesn't necessarily insta kill. Like you'll you'll charge and hit someone. And just just melee just, in Call of Duty. They just bounce back off you and then. You have to shoot them in the face to kill them. You know, you, you know, you know what fucking game I like? Titanfall. Titanfall is really good. Titanfall yep. was a great game. dude. My this guy I work with, give me the give, piss at me. He was just trying to like get my goat because I like Titanfall, and I was like, buy it for five dollars. You own an Xbox One. It's five dollars right now. I bought that game for full price. I paid like new. Re- I, I didn't get it like at launch. I I think I paid like thirty bucks for it or something, and it's it's awesome. It's really Titanfall good. Really yeah. I, Titanfall two is gonna be I awesome. have high hopes for Titanfall two. A lot of um, I mean, and like, but like you said, a lot of games do take from Titanfall two in the sense that, um, Halo and even Call of Duty, or I don't think Call of Duty does it, but where they include NPCs in your multiplayer match, or right? Call of Duty doesn't do that yet. Um, Halo does that now. Yeah, that's like well, that's the their like MOBA mode. Yeah. What do they call that thing? Big big battle or Warzone. something? War zone. It's pretty dumb. Actually, Call of Duty did add a mode called Arena that seems to be MOBA ish, but I can't tell exactly. There's like equipment draft and ban, and you pet at the like you get one specialist yep. per oh, team. I've, I've seen that. Like I it, that was for like. Um... So it's for a separate mode called Arena. I don't know how it. What the actual gameplay is well, like, though. I was going to say, I, thought, I, never heard I of thought that was for, like, um, competitive play. That's that's a part of it, for sure. I mean, I'm sure that they added that because they would like MLG to adopt Black Ops 3 Arena as, like, the yeah. thing. But So, you like, so you're, you're dissatisfied with Halo multiplayer? Yes, I am. Have you played, um... Uh, also, what's the game mode where you don't have any shields and stuff? Uh, well, SWAT. Yeah, you play yeah, SWAT, I like SWAT a lot. Um, SWAT a lot. But the thing is, also, you get ranked and put in a division just by playing multiplayer. It's not like a different option. It's just you play the game, you're getting put with people similarly. It's it's skill based matchmaking. That's fine. Um, how so? How does this whole requisition pack thing work? So basically, playing any multiplayer game, you get uh, you get like monies for playing, right? Yeah. You get some challenges, you unlock things like that. You unlock rec packs that you can open. It's all cosmetics. It is all cosmetics? What, uh, what's well, the whole... It's what's that, The Warzone thing has some burn card thing in it, doesn't it? Yeah, though that's for Warzone. So when you open those packs, 90% of what you get is used in Warzone, which as you play Warzone... Your team gets a level, and as you level up, you can use more weapons. Well, um, it kind of sounds like a MOBA. And then the thing is, <laughs> and there's points. There's you, like NPC like monsters you can kill for points that count toward your right, score. And it's first you to can a go. Thousand. You basically go and get um, Roshan. Yeah, it's like, like it's like first to a thousand wins, uh, or you like take the enemy's base and you win too. Um, 
Or just like, guys, we're all near Roche. Let's just Roche. But you have, in order to even do stuff like that, you need to first like clear out and capture. So it also has like a domination feel to it. Domini- you know, a dominatrix feel. In order to even take like your team, your en- the enemy's core, you have to capture all the points first. Okay. Um, but that's where the rec cards are used. Like you burn the cards in order to get something better or different. Like you you start with your standard assault rifle, and you're like. No, I want a needler. You have to burn a card for it. And then it's and then someone will just hit you with a car, and then you don't have your needler anymore, and you have to burn another card, yep. which means you have to spend real money to get more requisition packs to get another needler card, so you can use no, it and get hit by pl- a car just instantly. Just game, you get plenty of money. Um, but, Joe, I want more money. Then you can, then you can spend for it. What? But That's it, horseshit. It's really not useful, to be honest. Um... Like, I thought they were gonna... It was gonna be where you have to buy it to get anything. But I've gotten... It's a lot of customization. I like the stuff they have for it. Because it's different helmets, uh, visor, like, colors, body... That is cool. Like, body... But there's so many. There's, like, 160-some-odd helmets. I do appreciate a, a, some good old-fashioned character customization in your multiplayer. <laughs> But it's also it's also just a matter of um, the more expensive rec pack gives you a better chance of getting a better uh, item. Fuck that. So it's like ten thousand gold or three dollars for uh, for the highest one. Yeah. I mean, why, why not? Like, why wouldn't they put that in their game at a certain point? But, yeah. but at the same time... They're, well, they're probably like, Call of Duty got away with it pretty well. Because half of the yeah. things were all just cosmetic stuff. That was, that was all cosmetic, though. It really was. Well, well, you would find guns in it, but the guns weren't any better. Right, like, I mean, you can do There's fine... There's different. You could do fine in the... In the and uh, doesn't Black Ops 3 have chests again? Sort of, but you can also you can't buy them with real money yet. And it's all it's all cosmetics, anyways. Which is yeah, cool. it's camos for guns. It's calling cards. Um, sometimes it's gear for your specialist because you can customize your specialist. Oh, okay. But besides that, you I mean you can't that? can't even spend. Because, room, uh, oh, I'll you know, get to that. I'll feed you, baby bird. I'm gonna get into that. Anyway, That's my game I mean, of the week. Overall, Halo is Halo. It's lackluster. I mean, it, if you played it, you'd be like. I'm playing Halo. No no doubt about it. It's nothing different. It's nothing new. The story's kind of dry because this is the second trilogy and it's the second um, game of the second trilogy. Yeah. So. At a certain point, it's hard to keep that going. Right. Keep it interesting. It's like, new, <laughs> new studio, 343. Well, we gotta do a new trilogy now. Wait, didn't you say you didn't play in the campaign? I didn't, but I, I mean, I talked to my dad about yeah, it. We'll have your dad on the yet. podcast next week, and we can <laughs> see if he had any good sandwiches. <laughs> uh, he like, I no, ate a very rare steak. He's very picky about food he eats. So, yeah, he'd be like... The broccoli's uh, too mushy? Throw that in the trash. He'd be like, uh, I ate a turkey sandwich. Um, it was turkey and bread. So what you're saying is that you take after your father. No, because yeah, I'm... Yeah. Or actually, your brother takes after your father. Yeah, I... <laughs> various you've been, be- you've been better. You've been better. I am better. It's your brother who's the problem. He has, like, buttered noodles for dinner six times a week. Hey, don't knock, like, egg noodles. Out. I'm not knocking egg noodles. I just stated a fact. <laughs> your brother has egg noodles and butter for dinner six times a week. No, now he's also on to uh, muffins and pizzas. Muffin tin pizzas? Muffin tin pizzas. I, I know. What's the crust of these muffin, muffin tin pizzas? What's what? What's the crust like? Is it a biscuit? Like a Pillsbury biscuit? No. It's, it's pizza dough, dough it's just pizza in dough. a muffin tin. Are they sandwiches? No, they're this not. This conversation's over. <laughs> Are they burritos? Well, then they're sandwiches. If I put what another... If I, if I put a top crust on it, would it become a calzone or a sandwich? Uh, Wait, we never, we never defined calzones as sandwiches. They're sandwiches. Get over it. That list never had calzone listed. 
in the city of New York, but right in New York right now, a calzone is a sandwich. I told you. If I cut a piece of a calzone, I put it on a panini press, and then served oh, it to you. you start to shoot them, and they start to turn red? You have to jump on them. If you jump on them, they'll die instantly. If you shoot them, then they'll get angry, and you can only have to finish shooting them. Fuck. It's good That's podcasting. Um, Tony. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about anime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, let's, uh... Did you, did you play any video games? Uh... I turned on one game. I was like, oh, I don't feel like playing it. I stopped here right away. Oh, what game was that? Uh, it was actually a game already I beat once. I just need to beat more endings than Nier. Nier. Well, in here, it's actually... There's two different ones. Nier and Repercon and Nier. No, wait, there's only one Nier in here. We only have one Nier, yeah. Yeah. And- We're going to talk about Nier a little bit later. Oh, yeah, sure. Did yeah. you Did yeah, you see the it. new one? Yeah, I saw the new one. Nier Automata? Yeah, I'm Holy get that. shit. But yeah, I that, that one was based on actually like a play that some well, a guy wrote. I'm scared. Basically. You almost died. I know the guy. He, You're done. Guy. He does. He did like a bunch of anime. Two, one, two, three. So you you turned on near is yeah, that yeah. near replicant? No, near, near yeah, replicant. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, three one. Yeah, and I was just I don't feel like getting this turned up right after. Cool. Mm-hmm. So well, you other than that, I just played Samurai Warriors, and that was it. Yes. You played Samurai Warriors four? Yep, four two. You played four two? Yeah, yeah. I only have four one. What's it like? Is it good? Honestly, it's just four with just one more extra character, and then like the oh, thank the, God. What was it? The weapon <gasps> system, weapon weapon system is different, and it's just convoluted. I feel is like. it better? Did you ever play four? Yeah, I play four. Yeah, I feel like the weapon system is better uh, at the original one. It's, uh, but basically, it's there's game. like a, you know? each character has like no. four, like stat boosting. That's like good for one thing. Huh? Kind of sucks. That's that's different. They still have that mode where you go across Japan and like befriend nope. everyone. And no, nope. I'm so mad they didn't put that. Oh, that's that seems like, like, like the like biggest awesome. time sink ever. Like, there's so much crap to do in that game, and it might even be not even good. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like. I feel like it just, you know, just regular, just Samurai Warriors and nothing cool. Yeah, you need to have that one extra mode, really. Yeah. You really have that hook. It just feels so, like, you after you finish story game. mode, it's just nothing to do with the first one, just one player. I don't. That sucks. Yeah. No. So, yeah. I'm glad I didn't, they want, like, 50 bucks for the, the second one, and I'm like, no. I feel like just getting four is enough. I got a lot of other Muso games I'm playing right now. Yeah. Hey, um, you guys want to share anything with the whole class over there? No. Have a little conversation? It's you wanna, Joe's fault. You want to, Joe, you want to tell everybody what you're talking about? Oh, I was asking, I was going to say, um, mm-hmm. how was Numa Breath of Light? I'm not, I'm not there yet. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you about that, too. Spoiler alert, it's bad. Um, <laughs> Yuki, let's talk about anime, for okay. real this time. For real this time. Did you watch any anime this week? This week? Yeah. Uh, not this week. What's no. is there an anime you watched recently that you think was particularly good? Recently, I usually basically do this thing where I just wait till they finish and then watch all at once. And I didn't do that for um, okay. Yeah, I didn't do that yet lately. So yeah, I didn't watch I, much today. I, I know watched. About yeah. I watched uh, Persona Three, the animation, but only the second part. Wait, I thought it was Persona Four, the animation. There's Wait, that. That the exists movie, huh? too. Oh. Watch the I didn't watch the whole thing. Okay. Here's okay. the thing. Persona 3, uh-huh. the animation. The movie, yeah. The movie mm-hmm. is like the story <laughs> of Persona 3. Yeah. It's straight up. Sort of four. Straight uh, up. Three, yeah. And I don't think... So the second... The part 2 is on Netflix in North America in Why English. It's not part 1. <laughs> It's dubbed. That's what <laughs> I want to know. Here's the thing. Have you seen the full thing? No, I'm actually waiting till the whole thing is out. How many parts are there? Okay, right now they're what? The fourth one. What? I say a fifth one or a fourth one's the last one. I thought the second one was gonna take you through like the end. That no, would have been trippy. No, because um, because I noticed that there's gonna be at least four because the subtitle I the uh, you know the. The second, you know, the... What, what do you call that title? The second title? Subtitle? Yeah, I guess subtitle is it. Well, or the, the first one was something of spring. And next one was summer. I was like, okay, there's going to be four seasons. Straight up. So I and know, then the bonus month. And then uh, you get February or whatever. Like that, and I feel like there's going to be... That the, was that the extra month you got if you, unless, if you didn't get the bad ending in that game? Uh... 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it February? Well, it, it just or skips March? on. Because you only get January and then it skips. January off. was the was the extra month. Yeah, so it it like ends it, on Christmas or it ends on New Year's Eve or something unless yeah, you, you I mean, unlock it. I feel the, like towards <gasps> the end of the game, it felt they packed so much event that they're just gonna make it like it, you can make like fifth one. So this, yeah, close. you probably could. Yeah. This the second part of that movie picks up in the summer, yeah. like it's Before. summer vacation. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's it's the lovers event and then summer, uh-huh. like the full moon event. Yeah. And I'm just like. Oh, this is kind of weird that I couldn't see the first part, and then I realized that the first part has nothing in it. <laughs> nothing interesting besides introducing the characters would be in that first part, and that's well, why they yeah, picked up the summer. Get, yeah, you just get the, you know, that navigator that everyone hates in America. <laughs> oh, Fuka? Yeah, that was it. Oh, Fuka sucks. <laughs> Fuka does suck. Fuka's awful. She was okay in Jack's. <laughs> and, like, so, like, and also in the second one, it's the introduce- introduction of yeah, Igus. Igus, yeah, perfect. So, like, yeah... Yeah, one does not matter like two is where it's at we're good like on the first two at least I heard I mean if the anim- I heard the anime is good the animation itself and the, yeah it's just it's okay yeah, oh I'm man just, I died yeah, already just, because, because, because the, after they finish all of them they're gonna have like a you know deluxe edition where they're just gonna pack all five in one box I was gonna buy that that's what I'm waiting for pretty much you do love your Persona 3 oh yeah I do <laughs> I it's it just it was weird for me to see that only the second part was on there and then yeah I don't know why only second part Dude. it works though that's kind of weird okay so like I saw that Shoji Maguro was credited with some of the music mm-hmm. is it just because they actually use music from the game in there that he composed or does he compose like new music for uh, it he composed new music so that's know. awesome that guy's the best yeah I know that he composed a couple endings and stuff so that guy's cool but they do also just have straight ripped game music yeah, they, in they do, yeah. the anime, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm okay with this or not. But okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm good on anime for a little bit. Oh. I haven't watched a whole lot of other anime. Very t- I t- told you about this. We watched some Himoto Umaru Chan. Yeah, I was like, why are you watching that? that? Um, it's complicated. It's complicated. Right. <laughs> well, uh, it's then. an anime about a girl who, uh, she's kind of a neat. Like she doesn't like to play video games and eat Don't potato eat. chips yep. and cola. Okay, that's not um, lame. She doesn't like to leave her house, but so she's but she's also but she's agoraphobe? she's very she's not agoraphobe. She goes to school every day. She's very uh, smart and outgoing and beautiful young woman. She goes to school every day, and then when she gets home, she puts on some sort of magical hoodie, and not that a hoodie. It's like a cape. I don't even know. It's, yeah. It's, it's like a, a shawl that's like hamster. It's got a hamster face. It's like she, I don't, and then she just turns into like Laser a super like deformed like version of herself. Kind of, yeah. And she just like eats cola and plays video games eats all day long. What she eats fuck? cola. Um, and her brother, she lives with her brother. Um, his bro- her brother's a very hardworking individual who cares about her very much, even though she's a complete piece of shit. Mm. Like, a complete piece of shit. It's pretty amusing. It's, it's, it's Japanese as fuck. It's so Japanese. Like, you've never seen an anime before, you'd be like, what is any of this nonsense? Just follow her life? Pretty much. Her interactions yeah. with her friends. Yeah. Um, I, mean, she's, I guess one thing is, she's trying to hide the fact that she is she's a monster. Is a neat. Yeah, she's a neat. Uh, she's got one friend that uh, she's convinced. She has her convinced uh, that her like hamster form is actually her little sister, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and there's another one that like she's got really big boobs or something. I don't. Yeah, she has. And she, I think she has a crush on her brother or something. I don't know. And then she's got some sort of rival person who has no idea. They meet at arcades, and but she wears like a mask. It's anime. It's no, anime. Is what, yeah. I'm, is what I'm saying. Okay. It, it doesn't make sense in real life. <laughs> it's anime. No, none of it. No, it, it's great. And she also gives really detailed descriptions about why she likes to eat potato chips and cola at the same time, and why this that's a good. Sense. I agree on that fact. Flavor. It's extremely detailed, and it makes me want to eat potato chips and cola at the same time. Yeah, I mean, they're, this sounds like, they're completely like perfect duo. Uh, garbage. <laughs> it's anime. It's anime. Yeah, but there are good animes. I'm not saying it's a good anime. It's not, it's not like Attack on Titan or Full Metal Alchemist or Samurai Champloo or something that's like can be evaluated as an art form. 
<laughs> it's like Shamrock Shampoo. It's just like, oh, I've never seen anime before. Do you like movies? It's like, oh yeah, it's okay. Well, like, this this, this Shamrock Shampoo is just pretty cool. It's like got this like Edo period, but like hip hop th- and like, oh, this is interesting. It's like Umaru Chan is just like, it's anime. Just, we this just is watch while you playing game or something. This is this is anime. Like, oh, okay, cool. This is anime. It's unless you have to read the subtitles like us, uh, actually, yeah, Gaijin. <laughs> it's anime, dog. Ryan, you're getting. I, you're yawning. Are you sleepy? It's almost time for cold brew, dog. Hashtag cold brew. Hashtag Already? cold brew. Yeah. Hashtag, hashtag open source bottles. Oh, God. I ate so much that I can get any street. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's danger. That is dangerous. I um, only ate a little bit on purpose. All right, how about instead of drinking cold brew, you tell me about a game you played this I, week? I already did, man. You're done? I, you're spent? You played I Halo only 5? I played Halo 5. And it you, made you grump? You didn't even beat it. Made you grumpy? Yeah, it made me grumpy. Uh-huh. I um, I spent most of this week uh, setting up for Extra Life, and Garage, oh, yeah, that's which I didn't do a very good job at. <clears throat> you did an alright job at it. I helped. You made a bunch of scenes on OBS. I did, yeah. They're, it's currently happening. Yeah, we're, we're streaming right now. It's crazy. You did alright. So that's all you, you just played I Halo 5? I did add the Elgato. Did you? Oh, you you're right. You didn't. You did. Yeah, I take back everything. Everything I just said. <laughs> um, you didn't play Maple Story Pocket Edition because that came out this week. <laughs> no, I didn't because uh, Maple Story Regular is. I I was like, all right, like I don't like Maple Story anymore. Maybe this is like different because as as a thing, I'm very nostalgic for Maple Story. Is it just a lot of cash up? Uh, I actually haven't seen the extent of the cash up in it yet. I'm sure there there is there's in app purchases and stuff like that. But the problem is, it's just like. It's a Maple Story, but just even just plays even shittier. But there is auto pickup of items. That one's good. But the controls, it's on, a, it's on, it's like the Phantom joystick stuff mm-hmm. you get on smartphones. Oh, it's just, it's just complete irredeemable trash. Okay, good. Uh, I'd sooner <laughs> go back to playing regular Maple Story. They're doing a um, a world transfer event right now. What does that mean? Uh, it exactly means that you can right. just for free, you can just move your character to another world. It's the same thing as WoW. Right? Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't think they they uh, Wild Arms is a paid service. I don't think you can do that Maple Story ever. It's the first time ever that you can just move you your dude. Pay, I thought you could actually pay to do that. Like they may have added that, but I don't, I've just been out of loop for so long. I've never seen it before. But I'm I'm not. I wouldn't put it past them. Like it's oh. definitely possible. It's probably time for news. Um, dog, I told you it's gonna be a long one. I played a lot of games. <laughs> it's, we've been doing oh. this for an hour. I want news. Oh, we do have a lot of news, but I played Numa Breath of Light. It's not good. All right. <laughs> so it's a it's a 3D puzzler. Has there ever been a good first person um, puzzler? The game. Deer God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Deer God is good. Yes, and so is. I'm uh, in the middle of playing that. Volgar. I, I, yeah. Um, Volgar, there have Volgar Volgar been. Money. No, Volgar was free. It was free at one point. Oh, uh, there has been. Uh, Rayman Origins or Rayman Legends was free. That game is good. The Tears of the like, Storm. Relax. No, from the Xbox, the, the free games with gold. Uh, people like The Walking Dead. That is a good one. It's kind of old, though. It is, but I, I mean, I haven't played it, but maybe it's good. Maybe people like just being, oh, having I've their souls it. crushed. I've played it. Um, uh, yeah, so, okay, so New Breath of Life. It's a third person, or it's a first person 3D puzzler. Think of Portal, kind of. Mm-hmm. That's a general idea behind it. Mm-hmm. But the mechanics, there are buttons. All you get are buttons you can press in the world, and you can look at things. And those are the puzzles. Oh, that sounds so, really boring. Well, I actually found the puzzles to be interesting because I didn't find them to be very difficult, and puzzle games make me really angry when they get too difficult, mm-hmm. and that never really happened to me. I had to look at the solution one time, and it turns out I did have the solution. I was just, I guessed it the wrong way. And I just, I only reason I looked it up is because to arrive at the solution, I knew it was going to take a couple minutes. Yeah. And I didn't want to be wrong. If, and I didn't want to like go through all the pro- process of like making all the tiles blue. Right. Just to find out that I had to make them all white. And that's what I had to do. Uh, it's pretty short, which I, I found enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, so like what I was saying, I was saying before about looking at things. Yep. What I mean is, there'll be like these eyes on a wall or something, and you interact with them just by looking at them in different mm-hmm. ways. They're, like there'll be either switches or 
something you like you move a bridge by look like as long as you look at this this door it will stay closed right so you have to walk into it backwards it's like a really simplified version of that they do a lot of interesting things with that the puzzles won't get too hard uh but the whole time you play as this guy who's just pontificating about whether or not he exists and if he's a god of this world and what it means to be and it's like really lame like contrived like hey let's try and be the stanley parable but like but bad hey, nobody's the stanley parable it's just got this like not narrator who made the stanley parable well he wasn't trying to make the stanley parable again yeah, um but it's just really not uh, it, yeah. The guy just goes on and on, and then just like I'm, I'm trying to solve a puzzle right now. You shut the fuck up. Like I, I'm, I'm totally into like listening to the narrator and being like, oh, this is profound and deep. But this was just not. Mm-hmm. And then the the like the climax, like the it gets a little bit e- interesting at the end. But it, it's it's really just. I'm trying to think the right way to describe this without spoiling anything. Not fun. Was it a Shyamalan twist? It wasn't a Shyamalan twist. It basically it's like it was it was the grass. It's like the word. It's a twist, but it, it well, yeah. It turns out that you were in. You were actually an actor inside of a people pretending to be part of a village, and oh, there was shit. not actually a society. And it turns out, uh, turns out that Bruce Willis was dead the entire time. Oh shit, dog! No, it's like um, at the end, it's just this really stupid twist that like talks. It like discusses the nature of video games a little bit, like in the nature of like controlling a character in a video game. Uh, you guys ever played? No, I was gonna say you guys ever played Norland before. No, it's a a, a short, free little indie game about a oh, Swedish hunter who goes into the woods, and you perform a bunch of really weird video game like mi- mini games, and uh, it's a really weird game. But that's also a game that supposedly that game is about exploring what it means to play as a character in a video game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like who that person is and like what that that thing is yeah. uh, and that this game kind of gets on it in like a just a kind of stupid and like really basic and yeah basic way uh, and but it, at the very end it's kind of cool because it like bring you no, no. this game sounds like kind of inside of its own ass I just from the way you're describing it I think that that's I don't know. I think that's definitely part of it. Yeah. It, it got a little bit cool right oh, at the very end. I was like, oh, that's neat. Um, but I don't I don't regret playing it. It was an interesting experience, and I did like some of the puzzles. Uh, I don't think it's worth writing off. I mean, like, if you get it for free, like, it might be worth playing if you like those kind of games. Um, but, yeah, weird game. I don't know, man. It's usually 20 bucks. I would have been very upset if I paid 20 bucks for that game. Mm. Although, at full disclosure, it's probably the easiest 850 gamer score I've ever gotten. <laughs> and if you like gamer score, you probably do worse than 20 bucks. But then again, you probably have Xbox Gold. So, I also played Black Ops 3 a lot yesterday because it came out yesterday. Yeah, Friday release. What? Yeah, man. I'm Tuesday releases that. are dead. Nobody does that shit anymore. Hashtag video games are dead. Yeah. Huh? The also video games. Video games are also dead. Um, uh, it's really it's it's. I mean, it still plays very much like the beta. Uh, player health is still very low. I'm just getting more used to it. And it, you know this this title is super duper feature rich. Rich. The campaign is like totally flushed out into having like it's customizable and there's like mission selects. It's four player co op. It's not just you play through to the end and it's like, oh, you missed a mission. Well, you missed like a side objective thing. Like, oh, well, fuck you. It's it's really flushed out. And I heard that there's lots of good stuff going on in zombie mode, but I don't really play zombies. Wait, did you say that the campaign is multiplayer? <laughs> yes, I did, Joe. Oh, that's been too busy playing Halo <laughs> Five to know about Call of Duties. Um, no, I just it's yeah, it's four player multiplayer. Um, you get you can customize your loadout. There's some special abilities you can only get like in the campaign, uh, like the ability to like shoot cybernetic bees at people. Um, oh, that I thought that was a different mode. And like makes people explode. I thought, isn't there a survival mode too that you can play with your friends? 
It's like robots are attacking. There might that may be part of the campaign. That might be like a mission in the campaign that is just a wave mode. But I don't. Uh, well, it might I might just been a campaign. It has its own game mode. Oh, I don't know. I didn't see that. Um, unless that's yeah. a, unless that's arena mode. Oh, that it might be something like that. Though. Maybe arena mode is has the has have the a NPCs. Lot of modes in this game. There are a lot. Like I said, it's extremely feature rich. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Like, the supply drop thing is back, and you get custom gear for your specialists. So we talked about this when the beta came out, but, like, you can pick you pick a specialist, and it gives you, like, a super ability, uh, whether it be an offensive or a defensive one that recharges, like, in Destiny. Yeah. But you can customize your specialists. The more you use them, the more you get unlocked. So you get, like, different colored outfits, and then you get entirely different outfits. Mm-hmm. Like, you know the lady with the hood and the bow and arrow? Yep. Her second outfit... She doesn't. She has like a headband instead of a hood. She doesn't have a hood. Well, she doesn't even look like herself oh, really? anymore. Okay. Like I was like, who the fuck is? Like, I saw like someone on my team is playing as her, and they won. So you get to see him at the end of the game. Oh, cool. and I was like, who is that lady? What did I see that person before? Oh, it's her. Okay, it's. Um, I can't remember what her call sign is, but eventually you can play as a robot, and that's sick. Yeah, Reaper. Yeah, you just play as a robot, and then also the last guy is like a. Uh, it has like a flamethrower. Oh, firebrand. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The guy, the guy between um, Nomad. Oh, so the guy who who Africa rejects? Camo? No, oh no, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, He's either got a machete or an active camo. Yeah, yeah. His his two things are a knife and active camo. And you only pick one. No, I know. For the I, for those in for those who oh, yeah, are yeah. don't know. Uh, so here's the thing, uh, like everyone. A lot of interest in Call of Duty games these days, and that much is undeniable. But for the most part, like those three modes: zombies, multiplayer, and campaign. Every person who plays that game really genuinely only cares about probably two of them. Yeah. And it's crazy to me that, like, it's crazy that all that stuff is in that game. But at the same point, I can't appreciate it because I don't play zombies. Oh yeah. And there are probably people who don't play campaign, and like, and at a certain point, they almost deserve to be their own games. Yeah. Like, I deserve a game that isn't, that didn't have time wasted in the development of Zombies mode, and people who play Zombies have, deserve, like, there's so many people who love nothing but Zombies. Right. They deserve a, a, a game that is just Zombies. The only problem I see with that is that... What if, what if Call of Duty was like... Three games that were twenty dollars each, which was just multiplayer. That'd be it, it nuts. Be, but I mean, and yeah, they have it's like multi- they multiplayer. They actually have three well, devs. I mean, it'd probably have to be different pricing. But like, what if the campaign was ten bucks, the zombies was ten bucks, and then they should they should take inf- they should take Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and <laughs> Sledgehammer, and have them each develop a different part of the game. I was just about to say and that, devote all their resources to that. The only problem is that. Treyarch is known for zombies. Treyarch's really good at doing zombies and having a story for zombies. Debatable. But they just—they're like, just really good at putting Jeff Goldblum in zombies, but which I he like, is. Uh, and uh, Ron Perlman. Yes. But I like Treyarch's multiplayer. Treyarch is does. They it do used it. to be. I used to be an Infinity Ward guy. Then Ghost came out, and I was like, Right. Well, that's over. <laughs> and now I'm a Treyarch guy. But Infinity Ward does a decent job at um, at multiplayer. And Traeger's been doing cool stuff with the campaign too, like. But the only but the only problem is that also, Sledgehammer is just after what after Advanced Warfare. What did they do before that? They helped out with Modern Warfare Three. Yeah, um, they did. They helped. To, they did helped they like do develop a multiplayer. multiplayer for yeah. Um, I didn't play Advanced Warfare campaign. Was it very good? Advanced Warfare. Yeah. I didn't play it. I played the crap out of Modern Warfare 3. It's the weirdest thing ever. I played Modern Warfare 3 on the highest difficulty, and I beat it. I got all the optional achievements. I got all the intel. Didn't play Advanced Warfare. Didn't play Ghost. I played half of Ghost. Didn't play Black Ops 2. Uh, my, so my problem is if you have each person do one thing, it sounds like at this point, Treyarch knows what they're doing with the franchise and how to make it work for everyone. They just need more development time to make each portion amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, they did a really good job with what they've been, what they've had. Like each individual part of this game, all solid. Oh yeah, the, no. The problem is the problem is the other devs. 
Because they, the reason why they have them on a three-year cycle is so they can do more. Yeah, you know, now they're on a three-year cycle. I think Ghost is the Ghost did not have a three-year cycle. This might actually be the first game to have a three-year cycle. And, uh, that's promising. Then. Yeah, this is this is the way to do it. I think because just releasing like it's like an Assassin's Creed every single year. They do a different studios, but <laughs> it's not the same. Not, it's distinctly different. That's what, that's what I like about Call of Duty. You can always make something a little bit different from it. Okay. News. Yeah, I'll talk more about Call of Duty next week when I've played it some more. I decide if I hate it or not. But using an LMG called the Dingo. The Dingo. The Dingo. And I use it to eat babies. Um, actually, news related to Black Ops 3, though. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm listening. You hear what Amazon did for the release of it? No, but you told me. Midnight deliveries. What? To compete with... Because it was such a high there's, profile there's game. There's no way anybody did that. Amazon promised. They got a guy, they, they put a guy in a van, and they gave him a bunch of copies of Black Ops 3, and they're like, here's some people's addresses. Don't murder them. <laughs> Don't no, murder. That, that's what they, they said. Go on. Boop. If, if oh. you ordered the game from them, um, when they just made the decision, if you did it within 24 hours of the release day, I want that you curry could rice. change it from, um, like, you could change it from, like, midday on that on Friday to mm -hmm. midnight. Weird. Which will be wow. interesting to see if Amazon does it again for any other dog. higher profile games. Digital editions, dog. You know, I know. I got a digital edition, too. I did, too, but I had to go to bed early the day it came out, so I just woke up at 4 a.m. the next morning and played it. You're gross. I had to wake up at 4 a.m. anyways to but go to still, work, so... For people who, got, like, spe who get special editions or collector's editions, um, you know... I wonder how that's going to work if Amazon actually sticks with the midnight delivery system. Yeah, that is that is a very strange... It's very not strange, it's but it's a crazy thing. It, uh, how... I mean, you obviously couldn't get it anywhere, but we could have... Were we eligible for such a thing? I, yeah, I think we were. Probably are. As long as... I think as long as you're eligible for uh, Amazon <sighs> day delivery, you can do midnight delivery. Uh. So. Guys, I got batted down well sometime. Oh, I have um, What else? Someone tell, tell me a piece of news, because I'm playing down well again, and I can't... Like news, Did you like hear about Arkham news? Knight? Mm -hmm. We have... Well, you give you some news. I mean, we, oh, we, we, we have a list going, but if you got something to add, no, you... I don't think, no, I don't think I have any news. To... I, I think LOL is like having a huge overhaul in 2016, I heard. Do you hear I, about this? Don't they keep oh. promising, but never delivering? It says it's happening in 2016. Dog! Uh, well, actually, uh, well, yeah, actually... Well, <laughs> I don't think you guys care, but League of Legends, yeah, Japanese edition, there's a bunch of, like, videos going out. That's awesome. It wasn't in Japan? No, it wasn't in Japan. <gasps> no, they have Japanese edition. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Wow. Well, this been, like, I, I, I mean, this was out for a couple, I think, maybe a month or two-ish so far. Oh, yeah, there, there's a YouTube video of, like, you know, Japanese voice actor doing the voice of um, that's awesome. a couple of champions, so gonna be out eventually soon probably next year or something oh that's cool like maybe next year winter i don't know <laughs> i mean oh, yeah. japan never really got into huh. vocals did they now not much there is some player from japan just kind of trying to you know, ask this american server and place it but i feel like yeah it's not that like, big it, it was really like really kind of korean it's yeah more like korean like star Trek, chinese you know, like korea yeah, china korea and china those like uh, the uh i disagree i think all all asian countries are the same so yeah japanese people are really into moba it's just asian people in general are into mobas True. yeah but i feel like they do like they do more because they even have school for it like they don't yeah, have school. Like, oh, yeah, you can yeah. go to college and There's like a Korea, in... yeah, specialize in playing StarCraft in Korea. Yeah, they got schools. <laughs> they got that. schools for it. <laughs> That's a crazy place, hardcore. Yeah. It's hardcore. They we're talking hardcore. about. They don't joke. They don't. They don't fuck around. We're talking about North Korea, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to log into a MOBA server definitely wouldn't get you shot in your own home in North uh -huh. Korea. Oh, I was gonna say, did you hear about? Arkham Knight? Kinda. I heard it's back, it's and it still sucks. Nope, nope, it's not even back. They pulled it. They pulled it again? Yep. They said Dog, no! They released it with uh, the updates, and it caused different issues where it's still unplayable, and so they're giving I refunds to anyone, no matter how I heard you need played. a buttload of RAM to play it. Um, they're giving refunds to anyone who play it, who like owns it, no matter when they bought it. On uh, PC. On PC only. Yeah. yeah. Uh, until like 
December 31st or something. Did you ever get it? No. I'm gonna oh, say. I have it for Xbox, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. It seems like the way to do it. Although, it, it literally makes no sense to me. Like, I, I don't understand how they can make a working console version of that game and then be like, hey, let's put it on a, a more powerful machine. Oh, shit, it doesn't work. Yeah, the funny thing is, is it's like, okay, so the consoles are, like, closer to PCs than they ever, have ever been before. Truth. And and they can't make Batman work. And I'm just like, I don't understand. It's like, if my PC is as powerful as an Xbox One or a PS4, and it definitely is, yep. like, it should be able to run this game. Just... Xbox, or how about just like they do a thing with Microsoft where you just use Windows 10 experience to play the Xbox One version? Yeah, right. And then that should just work because of reasons like weird architecture things that I know nothing about. The the only thing I don't know is if if it's strictly for people who are AMD or if it's strictly people who are Nvidia. I know Batman used to have a deal with. Beep boop, hello, I'm a drone. Fucking A. But then I think the following game was AMD. Um, what a shit show. But yeah, it's. Jeez. Oh, Whatever, I bet the game's not even good. Everything's alright. Huh. The Batmobile sucks in that game. I think. Yeah, I heard the Batmo- Batmobile is. It's hilarious. More than hilarious than anything. The Batmobile is hilarious? Yeah, it could just be like crap it does. Like, you can just have it burst into almost anything. Yeah. Um, and I just heard they go a long way in that game to make it. To make everyone make it known that Batman doesn't kill anyone, but like he's totally he killing totally those people. Yeah. Batman Batman kills everyone. It's like you waste time, you waste so much time like programming in these things where like you, you add like writhing animations, so it's like oh no, he totally didn't eat. he killed them. He just hit them with his freaking car, mm-hmm. but they're fine. And like oh, they write in his line of dialogue, it's like oh no, the drones are unmanned, the unmanned tanks, and it's just like. You could have easily just said there was someone in there. Like, it's contrived. Yeah. It's cute with Batman lore. Uh, dude, there's like a lot of like Activision Blizzard stuff. Yeah, there's. I feel like I feel like we should honestly wait until next week to talk about it when BlizzCon's over. There's a lot of non BlizzCon well, stuff. You want, you want to do Blizzard next week then? Just ignore. We can talk about Activision. Well, so, um. Activision buying um, King Digital. Yeah. Well, we can talk about the stuff that didn't come out of, of BlizzCon. Right. So, so, I mean, so the, okay, so at a Activision Blizzard <coughs> had a sales, a, a stock shareholder meeting or whatever, and they're like, "All right, guys, we're not, we're not, we're not telling anyone subscription numbers for WoW anymore." Right. They're not releasing that information. Right. Because. A, well, now I know why, truly, because they're not exp- releasing a freaking expansion until we're going to have another 12 to 14 months. Shit like this without makes me want to quit WoW forever. 12 to 14 months with no new content, and they're like, and no, everyone's just going to unsubscribe. So yeah. now they're like, yeah, but we're not going to tell anybody that everybody unsubscribed. But the real reason, and this makes sense to me is that that is no longer a barometer of how much money Blizzard is making. Yeah. yeah because of HOTS and Hearthstone and now Overwatch, like, the WoW subscription number basically means nothing. Because well, as we discussed before, all of you who are unsubbing from WoW, probably just switching games. Right. Uh, so, they're, they're, not getting money, they're not getting money from you for WoW anymore. Mm-hmm. They're not you're losing your $15 a month. Mm-hmm. But you gave them two years worth of WoW subscription playing HOTS. Yeah, I did. So... That number really is irrelevant. It, it, that subscription so. number is irrelevant. Um, and it's going to drop like crazy because we're not getting Legion until next summer. The other thing, too, is um, they're not the only company who does, who has done this. That's my first time here. Like, I think Microsoft used to instantly. report numbers on number of concurrent uh, Xbox Live subscribers, but then they also stopped doing that. Yeah, a lot of. For, like, a similar reason, I believe. They like to switch up their metrics to say, like, what sounds best. You know, yeah. I, Xbox recently did a similar thing where they stopped talking about, like, they used to discuss information about, like, who sold more consoles this month. Right. And then it was like, well, we're never going to beat PS4, so now we're going to share the information of, like, concurrent Xbox One users. 
Right. Like, how many total people have them and are actually using them as opposed to people who, like, bought Not a PS4 for, and, like, hey, I played Madden 2K16 <laughs> and now I'm going to let it collect dust. I mean, realistically, that is a better way to report the health of, like, your platform. Yeah, how many people are actually buying new you games know? for it and yeah. using it. That's definitely true. Yeah. So it's about, I mean, yes, it's about trying to cherry pick the numbers and making them seem better than they are mm. but it's also about portraying the, portraying the, uh, the proper information yeah so this does make sense to me it, but yes they're, it's, be, it's also because they're, their wow subs are going to plummet and may never How return uh, to like we, to like three million. If if this, I mean, but even if even three million, if they're getting a monthly <laughs> so, subscription from someone, that's but when they when they were up at ten million when yeah. Warlords came out, I be, I think it's gonna drop below four million so, after we find out when Legion's coming if, out. If Legion isn't fucking the dopest shit that ever dropped out of Blizzard, Everyone's in done with in like five years, I wouldn't be surprised to see numbers as low as two million. After Legion? Yes, Just because Miss was badly received. Warlords of was, is badly received. It was well liked at first, and then people were just like, oh wait, the depth you promise is not here. There's no depth in that fucking expansion There's at all. Um, nah, dog. There's garrisons. I fuck the garrisons. I was like, so You were horny so fucking horny for garrisons when you heard about them for the first time. And then you actually get in there and you're like, oh shit, this is You're like, just, wow, it's fucking nothing. It's fucking nothing. They they ruined professions, which made me hate that game. They changed professions in a way that you don't like. Right, they ruined them. They were so I good at Cataclysm. You. Cataclysm was like... Mm. You, but you're saying... I like the way they changed, changed um, professions because it's easier for me to level them up and get the stuff that I wanted, and you didn't like them because you could stop making infinite amounts of, in, of imaginary gold. Yeah, I want, I want some but I, fictional currency. But I like... <laughs> I like the changes they made, so that's just like your opinion, man. Yeah, I don't know. Fucking this game, I don't know. If 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 <clears throat> like I said, if Legion, Legion better be hot. If Legion isn't the dopest shit, I did watch the cinematic this morning, mm-hmm. and it looks pretty good. Uh, the based the, on the cinematic, like hey, yeah, that's what gets your rocks off, man. Good. I mean, good the on fucking, you. It's like Blizzard's always been very good at doing cinematic. Fucking so. King King oh, Barry always. Rin. Yeah. No, no, I'm dead, dead, dead serious. To do some shit. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, you look at StarCraft videos, you're like, man, this looks amazing. Look, watch, like, like, no, but, like, <laughs> legit, watch, like, the opening trailer of Warcraft 3, the opening cinematic, you're like, hey, this was released last year, right? Yeah. It looks, no, like, I, it looks like in-game footage from 2015. Yep, it's true. That cinematic is really good looking. Um, they've, they've always been good with cinematics, yeah, for real. Uh, so, yeah, a fucking... Here's the other thing. Uh, speaking of Activision Blizzard, uh, Overwatch is not free to play. Troubling is Troubling. coming to consoles. Um, will cost which is cool. At least forty dollars. Uh, it's going to cost sixty. Amazon. It's going to cost sixty, and there's a collector's edition. Unless which... no PC edition is forty dollars. Oh really? Yes. Oh, the, the console editions the, are sixty. The console edition because it is that fancy edition with the costumes and junk. Oh, it comes with stuff. Yeah. Like so the, I I believe the way it works is that console edition. Um, is the, the, what the, I'm gonna look up what it's called. Oh man, this is gonna be tough for me, cause I got, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where I'm gonna play it. That's the other thing too, I'm, a, I mean, I'll play it wherever you guys wanna play it. If, if I might if have people I play playing. Xbox One with games that might be like, hey, Xbox One might actually be the, the place to, I, I also just like, I like F, can, uh, console FPSs, I know it's not as precise or whatever, but I just yeah. like them. So, okay, so, here's the thing, so, okay, so. The you can get Overwatch so. on PC only for forty dollars with no additional junk. Uh, and then they have something called the Origins Edition, which is the console versions, okay. and then the PC version, uh, which comes with like costumes okay. and I um, wish that the, uh, collector's edition and digital happen. stuff for your other uh, Warcraft games or other Blizzard games, um, including card backs, uh, uh, in-game pet. Uh, you get and you, you get unlock Nova. Tracer as a hero. Yeah, Tracer. Um, Whatever. And then there's the like this collection edition, which comes with a goddamn statue and a soundtrack. Oh, it comes with a statue. Uh, yeah, Joe. Oh, of God, Tracer. Uh, of Soldier seventy six. I don't know who that. Is. It's thirteen inches tall, Joe. Oh, they also did confirm the final roster for that game. I saw some of the beta footage. It looks. It looks fun. 
Like I saw people playing it on Twitch. Yeah. It looks like it'd be fun to play. Yeah. Um, it's it's like TF2, so no, it's I'm, gonna be like I'm bullet really bullet spongy like uh, type of shooter, which yeah. is not what I usually play, but might be fun too. I don't know, man. Uh, but it's yeah. Then the question of like how you unlock skins and stuff. Like, do you get all the characters right away? And then you can get skin, you can buy skins, or you can earn them, and you earn them in such a way that, like, you really can get away with not... Because, like, here's the storm. You really... It's hard... It's really hard to not spend any money in that game. That's true. I know Joe's doing it, but Joe's also a big old cheapskate, so it's easier for him. huge cheapskate. I just don't see the need to buy it, though. Well... Yeah, I'm so what I'm saying is it's definitely possible to, to not spend money. Oh, it's very easy actually. I mean, especially if you're only gonna play with your friends. Yeah. But if you really want to get into that game, like obviously you're gonna want to spend money in it. So th- th- just the question is, like, Overwatch, how easy is it gonna be to not spend real money after that initial purchase? If and so if, 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 if you're paying for it though, I mean hopefully If I yeah, if I'm paying them probably sixty American dollars to play Overwatch. Or if it's on console or something, right? And well, then you gotta pay your online subscription fee for to Microsoft. Hopefully there ain't. Blizzard don't care about that. Blizzard they might change it though. Also, Blizzard don't care if you're paying Microsoft or Sony oh, fifteen bucks a um, month to play on the internet. It's also, less, it's, it's like five. To Mac. Good. Seriously? Yep. They said they're not, or they just yeah. haven't announced it yet. Either they haven't announced it or Blizzard has been one of the few companies that have actually like. It's it's Macs. very different to say like we are not bringing Overwatch to Mac and just not saying we are bringing Overwatch to Mac because it just means they haven't they aren't doing it yet. But either it's so it's like if it's in, if it's, it's all a hundred percent it's all well not yet. Yeah, so it, it, tons so of games come out on PC on Mac back. second. Yeah, um, I where I read it. But if it's like, I'll give you a source. Good. Source me, dog. Oh, shit. If you... So if it's all purely cosmetic stuff that you can buy with real money, but also earn it with in-game currency, then that's fine. But if it's like you have to buy heroes and stuff and you pay $60 for it, it's like, come on, man. That game will be garbage if I have to both spend $60 on it and then not get any heroes. I think that you might get the full roster, because the roster is not that huge. It, 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 It says... Blizzard has announced officially it's like Overwatch is not coming to Mac. Uh, Yeah, you just said what you just said earlier louder. Your balloon exploded. Where's the article, Joe? Where is it? it. It's right here. It's on polygon.com. Yeah, but... At BlizzCon today confirms it's focusing on PC gaming efforts on a Windows version only. That doesn't mean it's not coming to Mac. That just means they're spending all their time on it'll be like a shitty port PCs and consoles. Also, one of the quotes is our focus right now is entirely on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation Four. Right now. For now. Yes. But so, I'm pretty sure it's not I mean, super it's, hard to <laughs> port it over to another PC operating system. Not these days. Yeah, like I'm. I, I'm sure it's. I couldn't do it, but I bet it's not that hard. Uh, minus those so trying to port. we'll see what free to play stuff is still in it, like microtransaction stuff. But I don't think I'm not too worried about the um, the cost of it right now. Yeah, that 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 m- might make it a better game, honestly. Beep boop. Everything beep boop. I'm a drone. Is that what it's actually called? Beep boop. Beep boop. I'm a drone. Is all it says. That's all you get. Uh, there was another Blizzard Blizzard news thing. Uh, act, well, it's Activision. No, the other one was oh, Blizzard. So Blizzard has a post out <laughs> online looking for engineers to help them modernize. Oh, yeah. So, like, listen, StarCraft, Diablo two, and Warcraft three are very important games. However, they don't run very well on modern computers, and we need engineers to help us make them run better on modern computers. Wait, what? Like, does it not run better on modern? Computers? I don't know. I played. I play Warcraft it's three. Probably, it's probably it's like, unoptimized they, in they certain may ways. They want to also update some visuals and. Yeah. Just, just, just renew the compiling. Just put it through there. Yeah. Uh, hire this guy. He knows what he's talking about. Yugi, Yugi knows what's up. No. I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> you might. They might they I mean, pay you a lot of money. Code they wrote it on. Call it Java or something. I mean, they, it, could need, it could need a rewrite in certain areas. Good they use they use it. They use Audacity to do it. <laughs> they use Audacity for Actually, all the games. It might, what they what they wanted for modern computers, so they probably want like. Yeah. Okay. I think I see where. 
They need to be like 64x. I, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. No, they probably have like a new um, new instruction source, probably like AVX or something. You're blowing my mind right now. I don't know anything you're saying. You're like, like gibberish. Are you speaking Japanese? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I yeah. am so yes, AVX, you. AVX translate better and speed food. <laughs> uh, this just in, in Heroes of the Storm, they're no longer going to gate your access to talents based on your player level. That's irre- so irre- irrelevant to me anyways. Now. I'm still level That's cool. two. <laughs> well, you get all the talents, yeah, dog. You get what level? Is it 25 or 30? 25, yeah. You get everything anyways. I'm still level two. <laughs> I kind of like that they gated it, though, because you learned how to play I, before. You I, did, I did, too. I liked being like, how would you use one of these two and start slow instead of having like all the choices? But I'm totally fine with that. Because I, I also have builds where just because it's in the last two it oh, doesn't, garbage. Make, doesn't make it the best thing ever. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So it's... But there's some that, like, my builds hinge on having those. Like, if I can't have Mana Addict, GG. Uh, what were you talking about? The other activity? Oh, yeah, so, like, modernizing... I mean, Warcraft 3 and Diablo 2 are incredible. I would love to play Diablo 2 again with less bullshit. Because that game's full of dumb bullshit because it was made in, like, 2001. Yeah. No, no earlier. Um, it's just like a lot of respecking doesn't really exist, and there's such a thing as creating your character wrong, and points in the game where you can just, oh, you have the wrong build, or you're playing as like, this particular character, well, you're screwed. Yeah. Like, I can't beat the Act 2 boss as the, necro- the Necromancer build I'm using in one of my playthroughs, mm-hmm. and just like, oh, that team is dead. And just that kind of game. It's just, you have to deal with it. it. And I never played StarCraft, but I don't know if people like that game. It seems alright. Yeah, I don't, I don't really play StarCraft either. Activision bought King. King Digital. 5.9 billion dollars. As everyone on Twitter is quick to point out, that's more than Disney bought Star Wars for. Yeah, wait, I never heard of King. King made Candy Crush Saga. They also oh, make okay. other th- games, but they're Big thing is, yeah, because that's why I'm playing that. Oh, okay, so I'm I'm gonna do something really fun right now. Like Candy Crush Saga? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just googled what can six billion dollars buy you? <laughs> did, you did you do Wolfram Alpha? Uh, well, that no, no. Well, that uh, seems like a question that Wolfram Alpha would like to answer for you. But please tell us. Six billion dollars, a good house. A really good house. Oh, the best house. <laughs> you you wouldn't you would still have a lot of money left over. You could buy sixty bo- Boeing seven thirty sevens. Sixty? Yep. Sixty of them. Uh, you could buy Groupon. Oh, Activision bought them already, but you could have bought them for sixty billion. For yeah. 6 billion. <laughs> Let's see. What else? Activision got? messed up, man. You could have had Groupon. You got what King. Else you got? Here's here's um. <laughs> gonna group on their, uh, so here here's an here's an article. Uh, ten things you could buy with a billion dollars. I'm just gonna times everything by six. Okay. Um, you could oh. buy six round trips to the moon. Oh, Dope. Really? Well, that doesn't really seem like a good investment opportunity for. You could buy ten Airbus eight A thirty eight eighties. What is that? Time that by six. It doesn't <laughs> wait. Eight. Or 12. You can buy 12. Okay, yeah. Because that was like... 10 I was like, 8 is not divisible by 6. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that, 10 is not either. Um, you can buy uh, 3... Nope. You can buy 6 of the AC Milans, which is a soccer team in Russia. You can buy, you can buy them 6 times. <laughs> you know I'm a big AC fan. Oh, God. I gotta get out my calculator. Hold on. How many Ferraris? 18 times 6, 1926. You buy 114 1963 Ferrari GTOs. I don't even want one. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a lot. That seems overkill. You can buy something called the Antilla Mumbai, which is the most expensive house in the world. Can I buy the Large Hadron Collider? You well, you can buy six of them. Um, the most expensive house in the world only costs ten billion dollars. Five hundred million. You can buy you can buy the Chicago Cubs, and then have five billion dollars left over. <laughs> 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 so 
You buy 30, uh, 35C Lightning II fighter jets. Is this ranked <laughs> in terms of, like, the best things to spend $6 million uh, on? I don't know. Whatever? A like billion dollars? Oh, you million. can... You, okay, so, ready? For your $6 billion, you can buy that Russian soccer team, the Chicago Cubs, and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, the Leafs, man. Yep. They do all right. Yep. Uh, you can buy the Solomon Islands as well to, like, keep them on. <laughs> so they practice on. You're like, you just remove them from their sports entirely. Okay, all right. You can also buy the Lakers. So you can buy the Lakers, the Maple Leafs, that Russian soccer team, and the Cubs, uh, buy a private island, and then enough jets to fly them all to the private island. Do we want the Lakers anymore? What? Do you, what, what when was this article written? Uh, November 12th, 2013. Yeah, if that's back when somebody actually wanted to buy the Lakers. You heard me, Lakers. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Any uh, news? What else we got? Um, so, oh, King. yeah, King. Yeah, they, they bought made, uh, Candy Crush. Soccer. Yeah, so, so now the only problem is, are, is Activision going to use them in a way that they're going to start marketing it? Use them in a way that makes them lots of money. But is it going to, like, affect their larger franchises? Why would it? Dash Division has a buttload of money. Because they want to make even more, and they'll start... Now Now they can give King the right to yeah, use they'll it. They'll have enough money. It, it, probably... I don't think it's going to affect any... Not anymore. They just spent six bi- $60 billion. <laughs> Besides, like, maybe they put Candy Crush Saga inside of WoW, like they did Plants vs. Zombies that one time. That was funny. Would they be able to t- have Candy Crush use WoW, um... I would play Candy Crush if you just had to, like, match the orcs. <laughs> That'd be cool. <gasps> Triple? <gasps> Triple! Yes! There's so much charge. Yeah, I wall jumped. You can wall jump and wall- in down while you guys know that. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't know what they're going to do with it yet. Um, but that's kind of crazy. You're going to make lots yeah. of money with it. That's what they're going to do. Yeah. The Candy Crush is that puzzle thing. It's, yeah, it's that, yeah, with all the Facebook yeah, like yeah, all and, that all that square and yellow yeah. and green. And it's a match stuff. three, and I hate that thing. I'm so bad at a puzzle game. I don't know why. This not, it's, it's not even a puzzle, puzzle game. Puzzle game. I'm just bad at. It's like a over get super lucky game and hope all the things ca- cascade. And, and, and then it's, uh, if you can't beat the level, pay us money so you can try again. Because uh, isn't that how their microtransactions work? Oh, yeah, you, you have like a limited number of health. Or turn, like, times you can try a level or something. You yeah, your health work? is, like, every time you fail a level, you get, you lose a health. Um, did you guys see the trailer for Near Automata? No. No. I saw it. Dog. So you remember Near, that game that came out a few years ago? I bought it. Yeah, I saw it on your shelf. Um, oh, yeah, it is on your shelf. <laughs> what you would call it? Uh, Platinum Games is making oh, the yeah, next yeah. game in the series. Yeah, thank God, because that, honestly, the near the action was kind of bad. Yeah, it's like a, it was like an action RPG, yeah. and now they made it. It looks like from that trailer, they're gonna making it like a bayonetta like. Yeah, I mean it is Good. platinum, so yeah. It's Some, I have high hopes. On bonkers. It is. It, it's just like she's got a huge sword. So he's got a huge sword, and she's just yeah, she's fighting like, robots. Yeah, I think she's also an android. Dope. Good. Uh, Salt. Fund it. Yeah. The, 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 I think the story is like basically like the guy that wrote the story um, also wrote a play. It's based on like post apocalypse. Apocalypse. Like, like, yeah. And then ro- basically like the robot is like invading or something, and then there's like this android girl that fight against it, and that's like the, I guess the set. Uh, they he just used the same setting for the play. Cool. He wrote. Okay. So I guess that's what it comes from. I'm fine with that. It, it's, it looks like a platinum game based on the trailer, yeah, right. and at that point, the subject matter is not important. It's cool; it's based on a play, but it doesn't have to be. It could be about anything. Yeah. I mean, also, I feel like shoot, it's also shoot, shoot, like near usually tend to have a good story. Well, if you only want for one, but he also did like a bunch of other ones. I think it's called Dragon Guard. Kind of Dragon Guard. I heard of that. Yeah. I heard that the boss, the final boss of Dragon Guard, first one. Yeah, isn't that like just a gigantic like rhythm game where you mess up once you just die? Yep. 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 <laughs> that's what that's what you get after you finish completely um getting like hundred percent every like weapon and or item or something like that. You gotta and fight you, that you boss. Got, you get that, and then you, you see like the the final ending, and then everyone just like just cried, cried in a bad way. Yeah, that's 
sounds miserable. Yeah. So what what else is on the news thing? Guys, I got to Aquafire. I mean Aquifer. Is that everything really? Yeah. I thought there was more news than that. Um new Xbox One experience comes out November twelfth. Fine, good. Backwards compatibility. Yeah, backwards compatibility is coming. And they're gonna tell you that on the ninth they're going to be tweeting out a list of all compatible games. But the first the first hundred compatible yeah, games. Yeah, no, like the actual list. It's probably gonna be mostly trash. Mm, kind of. Depends I mean, on the definition they're, they're of trash. Chiseless, they're, they're free gold games are really good, so that doesn't. Uh, those aren't even related. Yes, they are. It's their capacity for understanding what consumers want. No, yeah. Um, no, because they're not reselling anything. It's just they go to. No, because they also have to work with the developers to get the. You get the fucking. You have to get them to agree to move it. Ooh. I get that. Oh, you need air bubbles, don't you? So did you just start drowning? Yep. I think if you don't make it, you actually die. Wow, combo. I got a little combo. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, though, for news. Did you get your? Oh, uh, this is a very important bundle? piece of news down there, Joe. Oh yeah, um, I got my home monthly bundle confirmed for unsubscribing. They gave me fucking Towerfall. Wait, what? They gave you Towerfall? Oh, yeah. Wait, what games did you get? Towerfall. That was it? Yeah. Damn. No. You got one game? No, you got f- six games. No, I didn't. It just yes. said I got Towerfall. I clicked the thing. Keep oh. scrolling. Click on it. You get Towerfall, Saints Row 4, okay, um, four. Oh. Lethal League. I, I already own He owns one. a lot of these already. What the? That's not my problem. Yes, but it's it more is. than Titan. It's more than Towerfall. What are the other ones in there? Someone, someone figure this out. Um, I'm trying to avoid drowning. Why is that thing so fast? Was was the big news, Nick? Uh, heavyweight champion Seth Rollins <laughs> suffers knee injury. Yeah, we'll, dude. We'll be out six to nine months. Dude, the heavyweight champion. Yeah, I own every single one of these games. What, what's the list of them? Well, how the fuck are they Saints supposed to know? Four, uh, good, the game's good. Valkyria Chronicles, Lethal League, Towerfall, and something called Sanctuary RPG, which might be a game that I don't own. Sanctuary RPG. What is the fuck? The only other thing I have. Why does that was, sound so familiar? I don't know. Let me see it. Oh, that's, yeah, okay. That's all I got. It's, it's ASCII. The only other news cute. I had was did you have you ever heard of um, the Count Lu- Lucanor or whatever? No. I had no idea what that was. Uh, I get, I don't, I forget who even makes it. A pretty dead, balloon. Uh, not dead pixel. Um, but they were, this, like, the basis of the game is a soundtrack based game, and they're chip tuning, uh, like, classical music. Hmm. Which I hope comes out well. Sounds alright. Hmm. And that's not, that's not as important news as the fact no, that heavyweight heavy. champion Seth Rollins will not wrestle for six to nine months. It's very important. He's the fucking heavyweight <laughs> champion. Of what? So, the World WWE? War, w, the WWE World Wrestling Entertainment Organization? To some, it might be. No, well, we're not a wrestling podcast. Well, maybe video games aren't important. Okay, well. All right, come back next time right. on the wrestling well, video podcast. Games, well, video games are dead, so <laughs> maybe we should... I'm just saying... Hey, all right. So yeah, we'll wrap it up. We're just gonna keep pod- We're just going to keep streaming games uh, until for eight like a thousand morning. more hours. <laughs> no, that's not true. It's only like now a thousand more oh, hours. Actually, it's how many less. days? Thousand hours. Like a lot. Math, math. No, a thousand. Hours. No, I died, it's you guys. I had a sixteen combo. I, I died. No, no, it can't be It'll be oh. five hundred. Sixteen. Wait, no. A thousand hours is like. Almost 165 days or something. Yeah, divide by 24, so uh, 50 something. Joe, how many more hours we got 41. left? 41. 41 days, that's it. That's a lot of days, though. <laughs> Wait, uh, what, how much what? How much more time we got left? On what? Oh. Yeah, Joe. No <laughs> upgrades, cheaper shop items. Right, 14 we... hours? Ish? No, 14 and a half hours? We beat the crap no, out it's, of. It's more than 14. <clears throat> It's gonna be. Well, we started at. It was 12 plus 8 minus 3. 
extra life dot extra dash life dot org. Um. These right. are 24 hours. So this, this has been the Bear vs. Man cast during Extra Life 2015. You can follow us on the social medias. We're probably at Bear vs. Man on all of them. Correct. Hey, we'll Send us an email. Streaming. Questions at Bear vs. Man dot com. Are you guys going to do a Q&A anytime soon again? Yes. Yes. Only if we get emails, though. Only if we get emails. <laughs> if we don't get any emails, well, fuck you. You're not going to get any cool extra shit. It's extra shit. It's more hey, stuff. Hey, and uh, real quick, shout out to Yassan. Yassan? was that his name? Yassan. Yassan. We played his Mario Maker levels. We played a couple Mario Maker levels of people who were watching our trips Twitch stream, and that was super cool. That was fun. Yeah. I, get people, I get why people stream that game a lot now. Yep. That's a really common stream game, and I, I understand why. I Patrick Klepek makes a living now. Is he just plays Mario Maker. I think he might still be employed by a company, but he, he'll he'll quit there because he'll find their, he... their social justice system <laughs> that's that's not good. That's actually a pretty sweet setup, though, because he's constantly yeah constantly play getting, video games but no, for money. Yeah, no, sounds good. No, but you're constantly getting content made for you. Yep, and you are just playing while, like while they watch their career. Yeah, as long as I, like Mario I've heard that like a lot of streamers have said like. They like streamers who've recently become popular. Just like if Mario Maker didn't exist, I would be nothing. Like I only reason I'm popular is because people watch me play Mario Maker. And, and it's, it's kind of a big cultural deal. I don't know how that shit happened. But it's, but the reason is, um, like they're popular playing it because people are giving them levels to play. Guys, you want to play some um, outrageous bonanza? Party couch co-op games, couch competitive games. Yeah, I, yes, need to, I need to take a small break. You need to. Yeah, you need. He needs cold brew. I need cold brew. I need to pee. I need to get up and stretch, it's and I need brew. to all it's these. It's coffee. I want coffee. Actually, I'm gonna go. Where? Stretch. He's like, I'm gonna go home. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I need to stretch as well. Yeah, I. I just, I'm not gonna stretch. I'm gonna play video games. I just need to move that keyboard. Body a bit, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go well, dance. Wait, I stage. can't. I can't make a game play. What are you gonna play? I don't know. What can I play? I don't know. What's uh, What's a game well, that we can play together that I can also play one player? Uh, do you guys want to play Risk of Rain? More than anything. Okay. Risk of rain. Yes. Oh my god, Risk of Rain. Yes. Oh oh, four god. Commandos, because we don't have anything unlocked? I, 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 I cheated. And oh, I you lost my save. You went in the code? You went in and unlocked them? Yeah, I just, I turned everything on. They added new stuff. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, I like the modifier? The like mutations? So good. The, the mutators or whatever? Oh, this whole cool. We need four controllers though, right? Yeah, we do, but, yeah. Oh. Risk of Rain soundtrack. Alright, cool. Oh, we didn't talk about how Undertale is no longer cool. Uh, oh. <laughs> um, alright, I'm gonna pee, and then controllers, and then... Oh, we're gonna stop the, um... Uh, I'm gonna stop the recording and save it and stuff. Hmm. Unless you want it to take...